Wait. Well, let's go find out. So I'm not really sure what I was thinking when I decided to wear jeans today because it's currently 100 degrees out. What was I thinking with this outfit choice? You know, I've lived here my entire life, born and raised in Arizona. You think I'd have it figured out by now, but clearly not. So, here we go. Hey, Nicole, welcome in. Having us today. Absolutely, we're excited. So, Stephanie, you are the mastermind behind Fair Trade Cafe. So, what was your inspiration behind creating the Sustainable Cafe? I went on a vacation to Costa Rica and I knew nothing about coffee. Absolutely nothing. I didn't even know it was a plant. Um, <laughs> like, and, and that's being completely honest. So, um, I went on a tour of a coffee plantation and absolutely mind blowing. And at this tour, I think it's when it all connected to me. It's just uh, the human consumption, it's Mother Earth, and it's just the cycle, you know, the people that harvest and roast and all of that. And I just thought like, wow, like this cup of coffee here was sustaining generations of livelihood of people. Coffee is brought in from other countries and a lot of times it's done through exploitation. So to me, that's where it was key. It was so crucial to me to empower consumers and you know, make that connection between the power of our purchase and how it impacts other people. So Stephanie, I heard that the green business gave you a 98% rating on your cafe. So that gave you some serious street cred, right? Absolutely. So it's a City of Phoenix program um, to recognize businesses that are green. And so we are recognized for being 98% green. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it is. 98%, I yes. mean, you can't really get much better than that, right? I mean, we got 2% to go. <laughs> wow, so what did they do? They came in here and basically just kind of saw your operation, your full operation, and raised you uh, It's so much more than that. They actually come in and they go through your trash. They go through all of your processes. They take a look at just all your systems in back front of house. They look at how your customers are taking care of their waste. So it's a pretty extensive program. So clearly coffee is your forte. So let's go ahead and check out the espresso machine. Let's go. down. All right, let's go. So Stephanie, tell us about your motto, coffee for conscience. Everything that we do is conscientious. It's sustainable. All of our coffee is purchased fair trade certified, organic and shade grown. So any coffees and teas that you get here, it's 100% going to be all three of those certifications. Um, it's not. It's something that I'm not willing to compromise on. So I'd like to pretend I'm smart and that I would know what fair trade meant, but I didn't. I had to research it before coming here. So maybe you can explain to the viewers, what does fair trade mean? Yeah, and you know, and not that you're not smart. I think most <laughs> consumers don't put a lot of thought into our purchases and that's what I'm attempting to change. So fair trade ensures that the working conditions of the people that are in the field is um, something that is safe, that they're given bathroom breaks, that they're paid a fair livable wage, that there's water on site, like those types of things that we take for granted. So um, a lot of places will say that they have uh, conscientious beans and you can actually legally say that as long as you have at least 1% of your beans. Whereas I pride myself on everything that you see here. We have about 120 pounds of beans right now and 120 pounds of beans are certified that way. how important it is to buy shade-grown coffee. So if you think about it environmentally, the way that it works, shade-grown, what that means is that we're not killing all these trees and like plowing down the land and that we are actually harvesting beans around the environment. So I mean, this goes to like the depth, we're talking about the people, we're talking about the earth. It gives me chills talking about it. Right? Um, yeah, for sure, because these are, again, these are things that we don't think about when we're making our $3 coffee purchase every day. And then to take it a step further, a percentage of this is to rebuild those countries and those villages that are actually harvesting. So schools, hospitals, roads. So this shop has been around for 12 years and I can't even tell you how many schools we've built, how many roads we've paved. Like the impact that we make is huge. So come buy a cup of coffee. <laughs> is fair trade certified coffee more expensive than the average cup of coffee? Without a doubt. So on my end, purchasing it is. However, I don't believe that only the affluent should be able to create impact. So if you shop around my numbers 
and you shop around, any coffee shop around here will actually be a little less expensive because I want it to be attainable for all. I feel like everyone should be able to create impact while enjoying an incredible cup of coffee. That's amazing. So you're saying someone doesn't have to drive a BMW to be able to no. drink fair <laughs> trade certified no, coffee. Okay. Absolutely not. I like that. All right. So lots of vegetable options. Everything that we do is made in-house. So any pastry that you have here, you're gonna know that there's no preservatives in it. It's not been frozen, boxed, and then brought out, thawed out, and cooked. It's all done by us. So there's two things that we have here at the cafe that are not actually produced here on site, and that would be our bagels and our ice cream. However, nothing is made with preservatives, and my motto is if someone else can do it better, we're gonna let them. The big component and feeding people well really means like eating real food. Like we're not full of preservatives, it's not frozen, it's not jam-packed with just fakeness. And a lot of times we don't even realize that that's what we're eating. So to kind of hone in on that, I'm gonna show you how we make our cones. Hey, Senya here, and we make Hi. all of our cones in-house. <laughs> it starts, if you wanna come on over here, it starts, you know, with real ingredients. Here's the wet batter. So we charge a dollar for a house-made cone, and yeah, you know, in the business world, profit margin isn't that large with that. However, I'd really like people to really understand and experience what real food tastes like. Ksenia, how long does it take to make it? It takes some time. It takes some yeah. time? Do you eat like at least one out of the ten you make each time? Because I would. Because sometimes they break accidentally. Uh -oh. Accidentally. <laughs> Coffee with the Conscious isn't where we end our conscientiousness. I'm gonna take you guys over to where we compost, recycle, and hardly throw anything in the landfill. First and foremost, we use reusable plateware, and we encourage that everyone does, and we understand that you know people are on the go. So here you'll see that it's, it's actually in um, like sizable order. Majority of everything that we use here at the shop is compostable, so obviously your food goes in there, your napkins, to go boxes, things of that nature. And then the next, you can see it's a little less large. In there will go like your plastic and your straws. And then lastly, you'll see in the landfill, we have absolutely nothing in the landfill because that's typically how it works here. There's not a whole lot to take and, and throw away. And then we have some, which, I mean, they're fun facts and maybe not so fun. One in six people are hungry here in the States and 35 million tons of food get thrown away when we have one in six people hungry. So we actually throw away twice the amount of food that would feed those people. So literally we should have no one going hungry here in the States. I think that a lot of people make fun of us Americans because they feel like we just eat so much and then throw away basically everything. And you know, doing my research and learning about composting and also learning about how you can use every single piece of a vegetable, even like a carrot top, mm -hmm. instead of throwing it in the trash, you can compost it or you can even make those carrot tops into an own dish. It really has, you know, opened up my eyes and made me realize I throw away way more than I should. Absolutely, and, and composting, recycling, all of those things are not difficult. I compost at home, I compost here at work, like nothing should be thrown in the waste. There's always, yeah. there's always something to reuse it for. Unfortunately, right now in the city of Phoenix, the city itself does not compost, so it's actually something that I pay to do in addition to. So this is my contribution, and as a business person, I think that we need to be conscientious and ethical, and this is how I practice that. Stephanie, it's been so fun today just touring around your cafe and learning about you know, how it's sustainable. How would you like this place to be remembered? That's easy. Uh, as a pillar for the community. The cafe is so much more than a place to come and have a cup of coffee. It's somewhere to really create change, expand your mind, and, and you know, gravitate toward things that are good. Shop local, support your small uh, businesses because they truly are creating change in our community. Well, I know from now on I will be shopping local. I always knew it was a good thing, but not until today coming in and meeting you and your staff and seeing all the operations that go on here. Now I truly understand how it's not an easy feat to accomplish and that the least we can do as customers is come in and support you with our dollars. Absolutely. So I'll be doing that for now. Thank you so much for having us yeah, today. Yeah, thank you. This was fun. 
so after a long day of shooting, I finally get to sit down and try some of their food. So I'm a freak for breakfast. So they have breakfast all day here and that's my kind of spot. So I went ahead and got the breakfast burrito. It has organic rosemary potatoes, uh, grilled with organic vegetables, ham and cheese and it comes with some aioli sauce and I love hot sauce so I might put a little bit on top. Let's go ahead and try it. And then to wash down the burrito, I got one of their smoothies. This is the orange fusion smoothie so it has orange juice and some pineapple, strawberry, and mango. And then because I'm so tired I had to get another coffee so I got their iced latte. Alright, so let's try it. Let's dig in. Ooh. Gotta make it hot, gotta make it spicy, here we go. 